What do you get when someone tries to sound smart about a subject they clearly don't understand? Well, you get Orphan Red. Dear physicists, also astrophysicists, other scientists, everyone who believes in the theory of gravity, please tell me what precisely in the conceptual notion of time is tangibly acted upon by what precisely in matter such that time bends in accordance with this notional concept of relative distances between objects that, that we call space. In response to the proximal or distal presence of matter over infinite distances. And how, again, precisely is this relative distance between things materially, tangibly, woven together, interlaced, braided, intertwined, with a conceptual device that we use just to track changes in our conscious experience of reality. I can't answer your question, mostly because I don't understand your question. In your attempt to sound smart by using big words, you have convoluted your question to the point that it sounds like the babblings of a fifth grader who has just learned how to use a thesaurus. Also, I can't answer your question because I'm not confident enough in my understanding of physics to explain it to you coherently without sounding like an idiot who is trying too hard to explain a concept that he clearly doesn't have a full grasp of. You also seem to think that since we measure time using clocks, it is somehow different to space. Space is the same way. It's not like space is really tangible in the same way that a table or an apple is. We can measure space with rulers and lasers and other devices, the same way that we can measure time with clocks. Hell, we can detect the curves in space and time. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Time and space are both measured using arbitrary system. Neither are tangible in the same way that everyday objects are, and for both we can detect when changes occur. So your argument that somehow time is different than space because we measure it with clocks is a rather ignorant argument. But if you can't, then kindly shut the f*** up about why you think I'm wrong when I'm saying that science has become a blind faith religion that I like to call scientism. <laughs> Sparkle sound. <laughs> and so we have arrived at the argument behind Orphan Red's nonsensical question. You see, she doesn't understand space-time. Therefore, it's just taken on faith by scientists, completely ignoring the fact that we can actually see and measure space-time curving. First, neither your lack of understanding of space-time nor my lack of ability to explain it means that gravity is wrong. Even if we can't explain why or how gravity bends space-time, we still have both experiments demonstrating the space-time curves and models that predict that these curves would exist. In 2015, the advanced LIGO detector was able to detect gravitational waves. This observation has since been confirmed and other observations have been made, most recently in August of 2017. So you can ramble with your nonsensical question, but the fact of the matter is that we have plenty of evidence for gravity even if you can't understand the concept.